here we look at panelling a mesh using simple panelling. The basic operation is quite straightforward. We have a mesh here and if we rotate around uh, using the Rhino Rotate we can see that this is a 3D curved mesh. In other words it's a complicated shape. We select the mesh and specify in M-Panel production that we want to convert the mesh into panels. We'll use three panels here and we have a shear strain warning limit of 5%. We'll talk about shear strain in a moment. We click on the panel mesh button and that drops out the flat panels. I'll use the Rhino Rotate tool to show that these panels are flat on the ground. These panels when sewn together along these curved edges will make an approximation to the curved 3D shape. It's only an approximation and the rest of the shaping will have to come from distortion inside the panel. This distortion is called shear strain and the amount of shear strain is reported in the notes window shown here. Different fabrics can take different amounts of shear strain and you'll need to learn how much shear strain your particular fabric can take before it shows signs of wrinkling or distress. Generally speaking, the stiffer the fabric, the lower the allowable shear strain, and therefore the more panels will be required to make a three-dimensional shape. For context, consider just how many strips of sheet metal would be required to make a football.